Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 20th of 2023 well, it is titled Galaxy Wars M81 and M82. So what do we see here? Well, here at the center, we see spiral galaxy known as M81. And a little bit to the left is the irregular galaxy of M82. Now these galaxies are actually associated with each other, meaning that they're close together in space. And you have to remember that when we see things in space, we don't know whether it is just by chance and one happens to be a lot closer or a lot further away, such as all the foreground stars that we see in this image. The stars are part of our own galaxy and are much closer than those more distant galaxies. But in this case, these two galaxies are actually interacting with each other. And this gives us some uh, changes to the galaxy from what we might see from an ordinary spiral galaxy. And in fact, M81 is very enhanced in its star formation it has a much higher rate of star formation. And M82 also has some really strong star forming regions. And in fact, so intense that x rays will glow from it. Now we don't often get a lot of x rays from galaxies, most galaxies look like stars, but here it looks like this uh, combined light of all of the stars that make them up. Here we're getting so much intense collision, intense collisions that x rays will actually glow. Now as they interact gravitationally, it'll continue to distort them. And over time, these galaxies will eventually merge together in a few billion years. So galaxy collisions take a long time to occur, not just instantaneously, but eventually these two galaxies will merge into a single larger galaxy. So we will begin to see uh, larger galaxies grow. And that is how we believe all galaxies, including our Milky Way, have grown over time from the small galaxies that existed right after the Big Bang to the large spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see near in our nearby universe today. So galaxies grow by collisions and eventually cannibalize each other growing into much larger galaxies. Now, of course, the rate of collisions does decrease now is much more common in the early universe. And that also gives rise to active galaxies. So galaxy when galaxies combine together, it feeds the massive black hole at the center and causes them to give off more energy than they otherwise would. So that happens a lot less frequently now, but still continues to happen. Uh, but when the universe long ago, when the universe was much smaller and galaxies were much closer together, galaxies were continually interacting. And that's how they began the process of growing into the much larger galaxies that we see today. Now we also see if you look around the image, you can see the dust clouds, which are in our own galaxy. So the dusty areas scattered around here are within our own galaxy, much like the stars. So again, as we talked about earlier, it is very difficult without specific measurements to tell what the distances are like, how far away something is just by looking at it, because we get one picture here. But we could see that things are at vastly differing distances. So that was our picture of the day for January 20th of 2023. It was titled Galaxy Wars M81 and M82. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.